the snooker. A good shot from Penna. Very good shot from Penna. Martin. A difficult shot here now. He must hit this ball or he's in trouble. Oh, very close. And Penna leaving Martin with long shots the whole time. Martin, very good shot. Another long one coming up here. Good shot there. What is Martin at? Oh, a nice shot from Martin. But he needs two shots very badly. And the way the balls are going, Penner's the one to get the two shots. Now you're talking, Martin. Oh, well, too far. Decides to play the four. Oh, goes for the green instead. A good shot from Martin. And that could be the end of the game. Two shots from Martin. But still, that orange ball is tricky in the corner. Now, what's Martin to do here? If he was to pass that high ball, play the red ball. That's a very good shot from Martin. Now, Martin's still carrying two shots. Good shot from Martin. No, to be behind the red. Don't make it too difficult. Let him up the devil. Good shot from Martin. Not a very good effort, but still. At least Martin is far on again. Martin, wondering if the orange ball will squeeze in, which all he has to do is tip it. Still carrying two shots. And that's not so very nice just at the minute. If he was to cross the four ball over into the corner, it might be a better stroke. Martin still with two shots. And Martin very unlucky. Just didn't work out right from there. Ah oh yes, good shot from Martin. Up the table to height. In the side cushion. Have another good look at it. This is a very exciting game. And Martin. Very unlucky to see that ball falling. And with a difficult shot here. Oh! That must be the end of the story. The crowd begin to stand up now. Oh, 
Not sure. It looks simple enough. And that was a very simple black. A good shot from Penna. And that's the 3 1. And now we have a break for 10 minutes. And before we go on the break, I'd like, on behalf of the Aquas Pool Committee, to thank the Amahani Centre for the run of the knockout final last night, and of course the league final tonight. They've done a magnificent job at it. And they have coming up in the near future the Mead Pool Championship singles. It's a singles tournament. They'll be running it off here at the end of March. £20 entry fee to be paid when you're handing in your name. Now, there's Molly there in very good mood. It looks as they're halfway there. But an awful lot can happen. Our course, we've the famous rocker in there, a man who has flown home especially for this final. It must have cost a lot of money, £1,000, I say, to win £200. Well, I'd say it's just the honour of winning the game. And there, uh, is that man packing up to go home already? Well, he must think the game is over. No. Still a fair crowd here tonight, and there's Yorkie cleaning up still. Man never stops cleaning. <laughs> Look at that. That's some load. Get the hoover for that man. <laughs> He'd want to do it better than he done with Jimmy the last time. <laughs> I'm putting numbers on the chimneys now, John. <laughs> <laughs> They'd want to put numbers on the chimneys. <laughs> Did you hear about Martin and the budget that died? I forget it. There's something about it, John. He didn't fly up the chimney, did he? <laughs> and there's two Equus B players along the wall. The Silver Fox, Brendan Gary, and of course, Fast Eddie Stan no, Stanley Smith. Getting a bit of encouragement from Tony Callahan. And of course, the Silver Fox says we should have been there. But you can't win them all. And of course, there's the King of St. Patrick's Terrace, Sunny Highland. That's some size. I'm beginning to talk to Joe Garvey. And Joe, trying to reach up. What's Joe saying? <laughs> Sonny is saying the team is asleep, or he wants to sleep. What's coming out of that pocket? Oh, bad for your health. Did he not give up anything for Lent at all? Half <laughs> and nails he's smoking. <laughs> yeah, half time. Fifth game. Martin Rothwell, known as the Rocker, playing. Teddy, leave me alone, comma. <laughs> and there he is. Do people remember this man? He's not even playing with a Q. That vet must have worked wonders. He really looks well tonight. Very confident looking. Give me a Q, he's shouting. I think they just left him alone. <laughs> Did Rocker hide his cue? Well, someone give Teddy a cue. He's not that dangerous looking tonight. And Rocker decides to give him the magic cue. And now we have Teddy to play. Teddy, of course, playing for the Equus B team. And Rocker, a Navin man, you could say an Englishman. Brought back 
at enormous expense to help his Kells teammates tonight. He's running out of towns <laughs> and pubs. <laughs> Teddy the sign deciding to play the, la, the high balls first. And we could be in for a long game here. So Teddy decides to slow this match down. Even the great rocker might get hard to pot them. Teddy usually does five or six laps to the table before he takes another shot. Now, Teddy decided to play safety. Decides to tip into this brown ball. A very good shot from Teddy. Here we have Rocker. Good shot from Rocker. Deciding not to break them up yet. And of course, if he's waiting for Teddy to break them up, we could be looking for bed and breakfast. And the crowd begin to get a bit noisy now. Of course, it won't affect Teddy. He's used to making the noise himself. Of course, Rocker will be used to a lot more silence than this. Well, Teddy gives two shots away. And Rocker with a free table. Says to have a go at a high ball. One shot left. One shot from Rocker. Plays safety. Teddy. And the round ball. Doing his best to keep Rocker safe. And this is really going to be a long game. As Rocker is not inclined to break them out either. And of course, Rocker being the professional he is, will take his time. having a look wondering will I play it all only able to hit one ball what would it be if it was able to hit the whole lot of them besides the play the one he could hit And Rocker begin to get reckless now. Takes one out of the pack. And now we have Leave Me Alone. And there's Jim Cal, w one of the big knives of the Mahoney's Club, executive member of the Mahoney's Club. The it's back. great to see the locals coming in, so he says anyway. 
It's a while since the locals got a chance here. The only time to know this is a local club is when the Navin Pool League or Mead Pool League is played. And that's Mrs. Jam up in behind. I wonder where's the boss himself. He's not there. Oh, back to the game. Well, actually, there is a game on. <laughs> Rocker. Keeping Teddy safe. Teddy's reputation must have got even across the water. Very worried looking. No, and he has to win this one to try and encourage his team. Good shot from Teddy. Rocker. Sides the player, Snooker. See. Martin telling them he's touching. Get the Hoover, he said, get the Hoover. <laughs> watch the game, Martin, watch the game. We're not supposed to be looking at them chimneys. <laughs> Teddy on the high ball. Go for a pat on the top corner. I'll run the white up to the top cushion. Good shot from Teddy. Playing a very safe game. Not willing to take any sort of a chance. To give the locals a chance of getting back into this game. Teddy having a good blow at that top of that queue. Is he trying to blow the blue into the middle pocket? Don't do that, Teddy. Where? He sees that six ball plant in the top. Teddy trying to get the white up to the top cushion. Uh, but could be waiting for it to move up to it. Will he outstay a rocker? Is it possible to wear a rocker out? Teddy takes a dive at that one. And he's rocker with a chance. Was rocker still tipping? He must have got a lot of bad habits in England. Tipping has really gone to his head. Told him nightclubs to be the end of him. And there's Yorkie. Wondering will Teddy play his shot or will he look for another half hour? And the looks of this game, we'll be looking for a 10 minute break after this one.
Teddy. Oh. Will he run the red ball across? Or will he put it up to the top pocket? Oh, there's the Duchess herself. Rockers, beautiful sister. Oh, look at that for a out. Oh. I wouldn't blame anyone for yawning. And Teddy actually pats the ball. What's gone wrong with Teddy at all? We have to get a box of thrill for him. Make him bounce a bit. Teddy, playing the green ball down behind the red. If he's still awake. Will we see the best of Rocker here? Will he have a go or will he just tip in again? And Rocker decides to cover the pocket. And what will happen if Teddy has no pockets to play a ball into? A <laughs> poor cue. is getting very tired here. Even he's inclined to fall asleep. Talk about slowing a game down. <laughs> Doesn't that look well? <laughs> Which would you rather look at? in the view on Teddy there. Enough distractions. <laughs> the balls are enough for Teddy. Will I pat them or will I eat them? And there's Yorkie falling asleep. <laughs> Beginning to lie down. <laughs> the referee has really gone asleep. And would you blame him? Is he counting the chimneys for tomorrow? I see his eyes going to get cash register there. <laughs> and Teddy, he's actually still in the room. And having a look again. Yes, he's seen something moving. I think it happened in two minutes next I think it was Teddy. No, we actually haven't been a shot. I took a bit of thinking. Teddy sends the five ball as he taught to safety. Will Rocker explode? Will he give us something to look at? He's going to play a snooker. Decides to cover the pocket again. And let's Teddy back in for another half hour. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Oh, what a match. Hold on, Johnny. We'll go for a pee. I'll be back in a minute, John. <laughs> you can have two of them. This game is rather boring. I always heard it said that they keep the best wine to last, but I think we have seen the best of this final. Teddy playing across. Not a good shot from Teddy, but still. Rock on. No one rocker, he'll not move until he has two shots. Good shot from Rafa, setting this game up as well. And Teddy on a go slow at the moment. Will he rush this shot? What's Teddy trying to do? Will someone call the guards? It's Christy Kelly on the premises. <laughs> Rocker playing the blue ball on the top. But changed his mind again. Yeah. Could be good. One shot left. Good shot from Rafa. Very good shot from Rafa. This game could be over. Yes. Now going very nice. A master man of position. A very nice soft screw there. Rather awkward black, but still should be good enough to get it. 4-1. Yeah! Great shot from Rocker. Great finish. That leaves the lap crew needing one more frame to decide the final of the Mead Pool League. And they're off. Wherever they're going, they're off. Haven't they a happy lot? They've sensed victory from a long way out. There's members of the lock crew team. Leo Farrell. Molly himself. Is he hitting someone there? No. Yes, they're really enjoying it. And who have we next? Have we the super stud man himself? I think we have. The bomber from Limerick. Look at that man. He's worried enough coming in. He knows he has to do it. <laughs> He's very pale looking. No, he looks very bad there. Did he look like that below in Limerick? I actually say that's his true colour. A black man. Because only a black man could do what that man done. Six in a row. That man actually had six winners at the one meeting. And that's something even Derek Brennan couldn't do it, I hope. 
uh, telling them everything. Do this, do that. But well, Frankie, knowing you, you'll do your best. Take a good pull out of that, Frankie. Even aiming and trying to encourage him. Who have we? Frank Plunger Morton. That's not him, of course. <laughs> Mr. Gibney there, having a word with him. Of course, they're enjoying it all, and that's what Gay Pool is about. Of course, we've Sammy, the kid. Of course, I believe Paul Usher is still looking for him. Fastest man down the hill from the round door, I seen. Who have we in this game? Stimuli. Stimuli for the lock crew. That's just Frank Morton for Aquas Bay. And there goes Frank on the low ball straight away. This man can be dynamite. Frank taking that four ball in the middle. A good man at a court. All oh, very unlucky for a high ball to go. And leaves Stem alive with two shots. And mind you, Stem could do a lot of damage with those two shots. And that plunger is living up to his name already. <laughs> a hole is not safe for that man round. I mean a pocket. Them two shots. Oh, a very poor shot from Stem. One shot left. And the high ball. So nice path there. Still, with a bit to do, he goes to finish this round. Lying behind the green now. The rocker really has this team tuned up to the English rules. But that's just not maybe good enough. The plunger can see a gap at all. He'll get out. Good shot from plunger. This man going for seven in a row. Stem. On the high vowels. And this game a bit more lively than the last one. Frankie. Plunger with a bit of a chance. Lie in behind the green. A fair man to lie in. A good shot from Plunger there. But it's not a snooker. You can hit the nine ball. Very unlucky. This could be a bit of a chance. But the black, I'm afraid, is very safe along the bottom cushion, along the side cushion, beside the 15. Oh, another good shot from Frankie. Oh, very good pass. 
What do you get a snooker? Decides to play one. It's not a snooker. Conjo. No, and the black ball is very safe. Probably put this red. A very nice shot from Conja. We used to lay him behind this red now. It'll be a winning game. It'll be a winning shot. Still, that's no snooker. Full ball on the green and the bottom cushion. Brilliant stroke from Stem. And that must put Frankie Plunge on under all pressure. But then, if he can't get out of a pressure, no one could. This man is used to pressure. It's a good snooker. Please to get out with this one. Brilliant stroke. A brilliant stroke from Frankie there. Still stem with a chance. Double ball along the cushion. Play the snooker. Now Frankie. Frankie goes to Limerick, they should be shouting. Playing a steady game, Frank. Finds a bit of safety, but still stem with a double ball. And gets a nice snooker. Although he can hit the five ball. This could be the last frame. If Stem Live was to win this, he'd bring the Mead Pool League Cup to Cattles. Nice shot from Stem. A very good shot from Stem. But Frankie, probably a handy shot to hit the five here. What can you do with this man? Good shot from Stem now. And probably a smart tip in here behind the green. I leave Frankie with a lot to do. Frankie could get out of this. Looks easy enough. A good shot from Frankie. And this man is really coming back into this game. What? What bad luck. This game is not over yet. Although the snooker looks handy enough, but still. It's a brilliant stroke. Oh, Frank, what a lot to do. He needs to pot this ball. A good shot from Frankie. It looks, it looks a hard pin. Bring in Danny. To really take a good pin in this brown. <coughs> oh, two shots for Frankie. Frankie can win this one. Frankie must win this one. Just can't hit the green ball. Or can he? There's a lot to do. Even with two shots.
Come on, Frankie, it didn't take you that long to look her up below in Limerick. <laughs> it didn't do half as much looking. Decides to play the green ball. Nice shot from Frankie. This simple enough five. What a very hard black if he passed the green. Well, oh, it looks an easy shot for Frankie. And that plunger is back. This is be a great shot if he gets a brilliant throw from Frankie. And Frankie has come back from Limerick to win this well. Brilliant throw from Frankie. And that's 4 2. Brilliant recovery from Frankie there. And slows this final down another bit. And the Bowries are really getting behind them now. Now you see that man in there. He's not yawning now. Ah, our old friend T. Come by. And there's Casey himself. Oh, Sonny. Sonny is even putting the fist up. But it's to encourage his team not to date them. Now we have Eamon Farley for Equus Bay against Rafe Garvey. For the lock crew in Cals. An all round all player, of course. As he's better known in Cals as Rafe. And of course, there's Martin tossing the coin very near the pocket. <laughs> Profit from the last chimney nearly gone there. <laughs> Rafe decides, wins the toss, decides the break. Very easy break there. Amen. Yeah, man. Decides to play safely. This could be a teddy effort here. A long session. And Eamon, would he bring his team back? Can he do it? A very nice player to watch. <coughs> Size the tip for safety. Well, if not a bad man to find safety either. Oh, and Eamon actually, a brilliant snooker by Eamon. And this man, he's really pepped up for this game. And Rafe with a hard snooker to get out. Good shot from Rafe. Brilliant stroke from Rafe. You might, you might as well snooker Rafe. It's like trying to bottle a fart. Nice pot from Eamon down the green ball. Probably play a snooker again in behind the red ball. Eamon, a good steady player. Nice shot from Eamon. Not a snooker. Good shot from Rev. They've been showing a bit of the shakes there. 
but he plays better when he's like that. So the woman says. <laughs> Safety shot from Eamon. <laughs> oh, this is a renegade, all right. Although, you could nearly say he's a cattle's man now. He's, he's moved caravan down the cattle's. <laughs> Got in the back door. Horse, he learned the trade in the round door. He's taught well. A brilliant player on his day, Rev. Of course, Equizier team won the knockout tournament of the Navin of the Mead Pool League last night on the same table here. So it would have been a brilliant double now if Equus Beal was to come back and win the league. Though it's very doubtful at the moment. Nice shot from Eamon. Reyes covered with the red ball in the corner. Yeah, playing a nice shot there. He was talking away. Yeah, we'll probably push the five down. Decides to play safety. Oh, unlucky. Could have been a nice snooker. Riff. Might play snooker behind the 13. Then when decides to play the four ball, will he cross it? A bad shot from Eamon. <coughs> Still. Rev, nice shot. Raymond still with a five ball to come across now. Eamon going round to have a look. Shot from Eamon. <laughs> Riff taking his time. Bunny has probably slowed him down a bit since he was a round off player. Of course, Bunny being the wife. Good shot from Rev. Very nice shot. Probably a snooker coming up. Half ball. Oh. Good shot from Rev. But could easily have missed. And Eamon has decided to take a cigarette and go slow. Has he given up? Or is he going to kick this? 
I think he's looking for a match. And there's Tony Megan, a man that's heading to the north tomorrow night to see his favourite boxer in action. <laughs> Barry McWigan. <laughs> Give us a wing tee. <laughs> that wave is good. And Eamon still undecided. Decides to play. High ball. Nice shot, Eamon. Oh. Nice shot. That cigarette didn't do him any harm. What was in it? Good shot from Eamon. And the power he began to make nice again. Ref, a difficult shot here. A nice shot from Ref. Not aiming. This game closed up. Push this red ball across the far cushion. Now he decides to play a snooker. And all sorts of encouragement coming from the Bowery. A nice shot from Rev. Him and playing the red ball. Oh, Eamon. It wasn't a great shot from Eamon. But still. Eamon, decide and take this ball. Now, will he play the blue ball? No, he'll take a pull out a cigarette. Mm. Ah, sure. We've the whole night, Eamon. I rush it. JR is probably off the stand. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Did you go off the hand? Oh, <laughs> 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 another good pot. Sides. This is a hard shot for Eamon. Good shot. <laughs> Good <laughs> 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 shot from Rev. Lads, hold on, please don't disturb the commentator. <laughs> Sit down your head there, please. Hey! Sit down. And a couple of heads getting in the way. Sit down. Oh. Or head or should I say. <laughs> oh, great shot from Rev. I don't want to see Dan drop, I see enough of it. <laughs> Plenty of Dan drop in the way. And this a hard snooker to get out of. This. Oh. Unlucky. Unlucky. Rev, two shots. Nice shot from Rev. And this could be the end of the Mead Pool League final. And the yellow ball still carrying two shots. That looks good. And 
Nice shot from Ray. Good shot from Rev. This is it. This is the end. A brilliant throw from Rev. And that is the end of the Mead 2 League Final. 1985. Lock through our champions. Hard luck on Eccleslee. A brilliant victory for the Kells team. Well, the Kells Narvin team. <laughs> Haven't they enjoyed themselves? Here we go. Where are they going? <laughs> a great final. There's a bit of light on them there. A very good team. A very good final. I'd like to be the first to congratulate them. There's Fred congratulating them. Very sporting, mate. And there's that. And that man enjoying that pint. A great finish. And there's a bit of a shout from the Bowery cell. <laughs> Very good team. Beaten once this year. There's the Englishman, the Nav man, and he's now in Cals, the rocker. <laughs> And Jack Taylor begin to move the table, is he? The end of a great game. That's it. The old executive calling all that out.